Hey everyone, and welcome to After School Psychology. Today we're going to learn eight least attractive qualities guys think are attractive. Now let's begin. Number one, being over competitive. The man who is always one step ahead of the game is great, but there's a fine line. When a man is constantly trying to outdo others' achievements, it sparks a turnoff. Competition can be enjoyable and beneficial, but when it becomes a source of excessive social comparison, it becomes a problem. He is willing to put others down in order for him to gain. You can hear him sour graping whenever he feels that the spotlight is on others. He starts immature criticism and is almost unable to hold conversation when he doesn't receive any compliments. Remember, the measure of life nowadays is in kindness and compassion over competency. Number two, a guy who prioritizes his stuff. The main focus is their work and finances. Some guys with white collar jobs act as if they're still in the office outside of work hours. It seems to them that their financial status is their identity and they often use it to show off to women. Men who flaunt their money in luxury cars, according to one study, make bad long-term mates. Men may simply be investing in these cars to try to attract mates for a short-term brief sexual engagement, says Dr. Daniel Kruger of the University of Michigan. It was described as an instant turnoff by one participant. She said, there's some type of woman this will impress, but it's not going to be me. Tell me about your favorite books, music, foods, and even TV shows and movies. That would be far more intriguing than boasting about your wealth. Number three, being too considerate. Your intention is pure and you're too nice to her, putting her wants before yours and giving her everything. The world operates on a give and take. Allowing women to give back whenever they feel like it makes you a modern man. This trait commonly leads to another trait we're going to discuss next. Number four, being indecisive. Men often want to please women, and in some occasions they go overboard, hence a series of questions about her preference on everything. This sometimes makes you a man who can't make up his mind. Women don't like it when you leave every decision to them. So here's a little trick. If you can't decide a place to eat, just say, I'm taking you out to eat, guess where? Wait for her answer, then go anywhere she thinks you're going. This way you won't look like you didn't plan things ahead. Number five, taking things too seriously. It's fine to look mysterious on some occasions. Some women find that attractive. However, when you start to talk to her, you might want to add a little humor in your conversation. Sometimes she may wrap her words in sarcasm, and if you get too easily offended and take things too personally, she will get turned off. Women don't like a man who appears too proud and untouchable. Everyone enjoys a good chuckle. Jokes exist in order to help get through difficult situations in life. There's a difference between laughing about a fender bender to keep from having a nervous breakdown and making the death of someone else's loved one the punchline of a joke. A good sense of humor may be quite attractive when used right, while a lack of one can be a deal breaker. Number six, being clingy. You're having a great time getting to know a girl, exciting chats, hanging out, and you feel too comfortable with her already. She could be replying to all your messages right away and you feel the same, and if that changes, you feel anxious and start dialing her phone. If you have this tendency, think twice before tapping that green button. A man is more attractive when he respects her space and time. Imagine being someone who asks, do you hate me or what's going on, just because she didn't respond to your text right away. Take time to calm down, play a game, or read a book. Women generally need alone time. They're busy and don't always check their phone. Sometimes they don't even have it with them. Distance is good. Time apart is just as important as time together. Number seven, applying too much cologne. It's better if the perfume you spritz is found rather than stated. A small amount of cologne can be really attractive, but if you use too much, you'll wind up looking and smelling like a high school student who doesn't know how to groom himself. Some women even consider this a deal breaker. So maybe try to save up the spray and apply the less is more concept. Number eight, wearing clothes that are too tight for you. Even if you have bulging biceps, showing it off in a shirt that appears like it's cutting off your blood circulation isn't exactly hot. 
face the mirror and see for yourself. If you're in doubt, your shirt might be too tight for you. Should you find yourself in any of these traits, you're welcome to either defend your case or try improving for the better. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be updated of our uploads. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in our next video.